What is up guys? Welcome back to another Dokken Battle video. Uh, I was just about to head out to go to the gym and I need to buy a PS4. I didn't bring one with me and my PS4 that I have is back in my country. I don't have one so I have to buy a PS4 obviously because Dragon Ball Fighters is about to drop and do want to play that but you know that's, that's beyond the point. Uh, log in and Dragon, Dragon Ball Dokken Battle. And I see this news here and I, guys I get hype. I'm like duh, duh, duh. I'm like jittering and shit like I don't know like I, I was thinking oh my god featured banner and no 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 no, no that's it's not what happened in here. So, of course, I hop on db.space. I hop on Dokken Battle subreddit to actually get proper translation see what's going on here. And this isn't anything uh, beyond just an announcement for the characters. Now, these individual characters being Mighty Mass, Majum Jita, uh, Base Goku Black, and also the Super Saiyan form of LR Gohan, they were never announced in the game when they initially dropped. Like, you know, Gohan was the first LR to ever drop. He was never given his portion of the news to where it's like, oh, you know, LR Gohan is here, guys. Go ahead and pull him and summon for him and don't wake him to this LR. They never got a news announcement. So a lot of players who don't watch YouTubers, a lot of players who don't go to DV.space or translations, they would pull these cards and they would be like, what? What is this? I've never seen this card before. So they finally had their news announcement. If you go to this portion here and you scroll down, this is the very same thing in the game. So if you go into the game, you'll see this announcement here to where you have the five featured LRs. Well, not featured on a banner guy, but featured in the new section right now. And you'll see Vegeta Blue is about to be added. Uh, he's actually current in the game, or currently added in the game. So you can pick up the SSR form of him. He does not have his TUR or LR form on JP. Okay, keep that in mind. Same thing they're doing to Global. They're doing a JP. They're... Releasing the SSR, capping out at a 21 Patara medal, so you cannot don't awaken him at his current point in time, and that's how it is. Uh, scrolling down, though, we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku here, who's not featured on the banner here, but that's fine. He's still in the new section, so he's a new SLR to be added. Why feature someone like Modern Jita or Gohan above him? I don't know, because these units are, they're good, but they're outdated. Outdated doesn't mean old. Um, well, I guess it kind of does to some capacity, but in this sense, those units are still very top tier. So, but you know, I guess it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Uh, we have Super Saiyan 3 Gohan here, of course, you know, base form, base form, then Super Saiyan 3. Uh, I would, you know, it'll, it'll be awesome if he was a uh, Super Saiyan, you pull him out of Super Saiyan, Doku Wigan on Super Saiyan 2, and then you Doku Wigan Super Saiyan 3, but you know, that's a little thing, whatever, that's, that's not important. We have, uh, you know, we have, well, we have LR Goten Trunks. I was going to say LR Mighty Mass. Technically, he's LR Mighty Mass, but we have LR Goten Trunks here. Uh, this unit is available in the game. We know this. Uh, on the JP version, that is not on Global as yet. Uh, scroll now. We have LR Goku Black. We have LR Majida. We have LR Gohan. Now, once again, these units weren't featured. They were never announced. Uh, units like LR Bojack. Units like LR Trunks. Uh, units like LR Broly. They had their featured banner, so they had a little new section of where they were, uh, they were promoted. These units never were. So, all this is is... A section in news telling us, hey, these characters are here. If you pull them, you can do this. And like that's it. That's literally it. Like, this is so late. They should have done this for every LR. Why keep it a secret? It doesn't make any sense to me why you would drop an LR but not announce it. I mean, I would think you would want people to know that these LRs are in the banner so that they have more of an incentive to summon. They didn't do that. They are doing it now, but... God damn, man, I so late. Anyway, so moving on to the actual LR Vegito Blue. Well, base Vegito SSR, I should say, because he right now is not, once again, LRable. LRable? Is that a word? Did I just make up some shit LRable? Yeah, watch what people start using that LRable, guys. Anyone? Use uh, just okay, I'll use LRable myself. Anyways, guys, so he's not LRable. God damn it, that word. But he is in the game. Now, it looks like Two things will happen. Um, JP and Global will get him at the same time. Or Global, at the, at the very least, will get him like two weeks ahead of time. But I don't think JP will get him first. Because on Global, the additional Patara Metal Sudoku will get him to his TUR4 will be dropping on the either 16th or 17th. One of those dates I can't remember, but I remember seeing it in news uh, quite a while back. The 16th or 17th of this month. We'll get additional medals and uh, from we'll get additional Patara medals with the story event to where we can Doka Waken him to his TUR format at the very least. So that's coming. Now, does that mean the LR is right around the corner? No. No, that's not what that means. That means that the TUR form is coming. The LR form is, well, the LR art, I should say, has been announced, 
but we don't have any information as to when he will be coming now it is so hard to predict what Bandai will be doing. Uh, it, like, it's better safe to just not predict anything at all. It's better safe to say nothing. It's better safe to just go with the flow. Because you, you say all these things about, oh, you know, this is a good time period and this is a good time slot and this is a good time period if this card to drop. Like, weeks after that and nothing. So, I'm not going to speculate anything. I, I I don't know when the LR will be dropping. No one knows when the LR. I don't even think Bandai knows when the LR is going to be dropping. Uh, we just need to wait and see as to what they do um but you know as we can see we can see the lr will be very good we can see that this is a makings for an amazing card uh will he rival the tech vegeta blue they have the same super attack mechanic raises attack and defense and if you know anything about lrs they have two super attacks the colossal 12 key super attack and the mega colossal 17 plus uh key super attack i feel like if they make his 17 plus key super attack busted he might be able to rival him in some capacity. Uh, he'll for sure tank way better. Because the thing about the current blue Vegito that we have as the tech variant. Uh, he can take a hit. But you need to super attack so much with him before that can actually be a factor. Before that, he's taken 20, 30, 40k damage from you know any boss these days. Uh, he will mitigate that somewhat because his defenses stack over time. But that is an over time effect. That's a Kaioken effect. That's not something on the ready. This guy, however, has an on-condition attack and defense. Now, his LR form will, at the very least, have 80%, which 80% attack and defense on an LR is very good because these guys come out of the woodworks with, like, you know, 12, well, you know, 14,000 attack, like, you know, 10,000 defense. Like, they, they have unbelievably busted stats. They really, really do. So, putting an attack and defense buff on top of a unit that has busted stats before potential system, very, very good. So, I think that this guy will be, I kind of want to say more um, more enjoyable to play with, possibly, because with the blue with the blue Vegito, like, he's very good once again, uh, he crits out the ass, like, he's an amazing card, but he just, I don't know, man, like, I, I like defensive units, I really do, and this guy is more so what I enjoy my play style to be, I love the Vegito blue card tech, but, you know, this guy is more so my play style, but yeah, guys, so, no information, about the, just to backtrack a little bit, uh, no information about the actual Token Awakening LR form. No passive, no links, no leader ability, nothing. Nope, we don't even know. Um, this is just JP version of the release right now for the SSR form. So same thing happened. Two's available in the Baba Shop. You can go ahead and pick them up with the uh, the uh, Supreme Kai Stone. So you can find them on JP. The thing about JP is that obviously we speak English, we don't speak Japanese. So well, the majority of us don't speak Jap Japanese, I should say. We have to look at the translations for every single one of those slots, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to do the grind. I'm going to have, like, my little sheet and paper and write down, you know, what this and this and this is. It's very tedious, but, you know, I'll get the grind done because, obviously, uh, I want LRG of Blue in both versions, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and go about this as well. This isn't anything, guys. This isn't a banner. This isn't anything you should be looking into. It's an announcement for the for the characters. These characters, once again, weren't formally announced. So this is their announcement as to, oh, you know, they're in the game. If you pull them, you can do awaken them into this and this and whatever. And I hope moving forward, they do this for all new release LRs. For example, if we ever get, you know, I don't know, LR. If we get LR Vegeta, a, a proper Vegeta, not, not Majin Vegeta. I mean, he's still Vegeta, but he's possessed. But like a proper Vegeta card that's LR. Just, just announce him. Even if he's not, you know, featured, just say, oh, you know, he's in the banner, you know. So just, feed, just, just announce him, man. Just drop him. Uh, Global does this, but you know, well, Global formally, Global introduces their LRs in the news, though. I mean, well, hmm. Mon has Manjia been uh, introduced? Uh, pr I don't even know. I shouldn't say that. So, hmm. whatever. Anyway, so uh, quick little video, guys. Uh, so yeah. So any more LR news? Of course, I'll cover it for you guys. Anything extra, I will go over with for you guys. And um, I don't know, man. Like third years coming up in. Like, third year for JP is a perfect time to drop this character. It really, really is. But third year for JP, not global. So, does JP get him first? Or will they release him at the same time, but they're waiting for JP Anniversary to drop him? I don't know, man. But e e either way, I will take it, however you slice it. Because at this point, I am losing interest as we go along. Because th this is pushing seven months, my boy. Like, it's been so long since he actually introduced a card in... I think it's about time they actually drop it. I really, really think it's about time. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, 
make it a thing. Sub to the boy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.